be like, she thinks she cute. She act too bougie. <laughs> and I do. Hello? <laughs> People are always saying, you think this, you think that. No, that's what you think. So sometimes people will project their thoughts onto you. Don't accept it. You don't have to accept it. If you are what you are and you know what you are, be who you are and never let anybody dim your light or steal your joy. Roll the clip. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you are returning, you are truly, truly appreciated. Welcome back, and thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. By the way, here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, please go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. It will alert you every single time there is a video placed on this channel. I am all about uplifting, encouraging, motivating, and women supporting women, women supporting men. Just support. Give a compliment. Be kind. Smile. Okay? That's what I'm about over here. So today I'm doing a very cool chill video just having and explaining a few different ways to get your fragrances to perform, to get your fragrances to last all day and how I apply my fragrances. So I guess it's like a two-in-one how to get your fragrances to last last all day and how to apply your fragrances to get the best performance from them. Now, this is going to be subjective, you guys. Everybody is different. Like I said in a last video or a video back, it has a lot to do with a lot of things. Your diet, uh, your hydration, your moisturizing, just everything like that. So take everything that I'm saying with a grain of salt, but at the same time, apply it and see what works best for you. If I look over here, it's because you know I get off topic. You know I have a couple of 2.5s. So I wrote myself a couple of notes just so that I ensure that I give you everything that I showed up to give you in this video today. So I am going to say this, and I know I sound like a broken record, but I'm gonna say this because some people just don't know, and maybe I'm helping someone, I don't know. Whenever you're putting your fragrances on or you're getting ready, you always wanna start with some soap and water. So bathe, yes girl, yes guy, take a bath, take a shower, go in, hit it with the soap and water a few different times, rinse, lather, repeat, scrub if you like, okay? Once you come out, do not come completely dry your body. Don't dry it all the way off. Leave the body kind of damp, kind of wet, and then take your moisturizer. So if it were me, I was coming out of the shower. First of all, in the shower, if you can, try and shower with the fragrance gel um, of the fragrance that you're using. If not, just apply a fragrance oil or some type of body shower oil that, you know, is going to definitely, you know, have a no scent or the scent of the fragrance so that you don't disturb the peace of the fragrance. So if it were me and I was showering, I would shower with the Delina body shower gel. This is really good. Then I'm gonna get out while the body is still kind of wet, still kind of supple, you guys. I am going to open this up and then I am going to put on the body cream. I'm gonna layer this all over my entire higher body all the way from the nape listen girl listen all the way from the nape of my neck in between the baby toe the crevice of the baby toe yes that's how we're going we're going out we're pretending it's a date night a girl's night out get your entire life how Stella got her groove back how you about to get your groove back how I'm getting my groove back whoever okay you are lotioning your body moisturizing your body from the nape of your neck okay all the way down to the crevices of the baby toe that's how specific we're getting okay so now that you've done all that, say for instance, you're like, Shrey, I don't have uh, the lotion of the fragrance that I'm doing. Okay, I have two that I'm going to recommend. Your Serim is one. I'm out. I need to pick up one. I haven't been to Target yet. So I'm going to say that is one. I'll link it in the description box. Two, I love. I have so many Chanel fragrances. Have you been here before? Girl, guy, you know Chanel is my absolute favorite. This one right here, everything I'm going to link. The lights are bright, but I'm just going to link everything below. But this one here is the Chanel Fresh Body Cream. It's very lightly scented. It can be paired with any fragrance. It's very hydrating. It's very moisturizing. And I love the type of moisturizing lotion that gives gives you a little bit of an oil sheen to it, but not greasy like Johnson & Johnson's baby oil. We're not here for that, okay? But this one here is really nice. As like I said, it's lightly scented, it's very fresh, very clean, and it could be paired with any Chanel fragrance, and it definitely can be paired with any fragrance. I mean, I rock this all the time. I'm almost ready to re-up on this. I'm gonna try and bring it in just so you can see it. This is what this one looks like here. This is the Chanel Body Cream. This is really, really good. It is kind of pricey, you guys, but it lasts forever and for with guilt reason. Now, you can use any lotion you want. Like I said, your Saran would be one. I'll pop a picture up. I'll also include it in the description 
subscription box. That one's not pricey at all. You can pick it up at Target, Walmart, CVS. Another one that I recently discovered here was this one here. This is the Fenty uh, Butter Drop. This is a very good hydrating, moisturizing um, lotion as well. Really good, supple, very creamy. It gives a little bit of a sheen, but not too much grease. I love that. I like for my legs to look like kind of shiny kind of dewy kind of wet but not greasy there's a difference trust me there's a difference so this one here is called Fenty's uh body drop and this is or am I making that up I am body drop oh no 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 butter drop butter drop oh butter drop and it is by Fenty skin you can pick this up on sephora.com you can go to sephora and pick it up you can also order it on Fenty's website I have seen it there this pairs really really well with the um exfoliating from the same brand um the same line Fenty skin has an exfoliator as well I can't remember what it's called I believe it's called buff rider I've shared it with you guys I can't remember what video you're gonna see but these are all steps that's gonna help your fragrance to last you have to put fragrance on skin that has been cleaned and moisturize okay so now we've scrubbed we've cleaned we've moisturized let's move on i have also said you know when you're applying your fragrance it depends on you now me i love to apply fragrance all over so i'll start here i'll start in the crevices of my elbows i'll start behind my neck i'll go down to my chest i go to my belly button i go to the back of my uh ankles i go down to the back of my kneecaps i go by my thighs hello thick thighs saves lives i'm just telling you guys anyways um you know those are all the places it also tells you to spray your fragrances in your pulse points pulse points mean hot spots spots that heat up on your body when it heats up on your body it activates the fragrance and it helps it to you know what, what am i trying to say like stand out or put out even more into your you know scent bubble of where you are it's heated your fragrance is there and it's just putting out you know your fragrance on your body you know what i mean like when you heat something up you know you can take an onion and you can cut it and you can put it in a saucepan follow me i'm going somewhere cut an onion up put it in a saucepan put a little oil in there right when it starts to heat up you start smelling that smell and that aroma throughout your home or throughout your house or throughout the restaurant because they've added heat to it so the same thing happens when you put your fragrances on and you put them in your pulse points and then you put them in your hot spots same thing two different words you can google them it'll even give you a diagram of a person where their hot spots or pulse points are just depending on what lingo they're using but typically it is right here you know uh the nape of your ear the nape of your neck in between the crevices of your elbow um some <laughs> where do you heat up at you know coco always says spray where you want to be kissed so i'm just saying that's up to you i do follow coco's advice anyways you guys so yeah those are a few places that you would want to spray you have to see what works for you how many sprays should i be spraying trade that's totally up to you i tell you i am a heavy sprayer i am a born heavy sprayer i'm not looking to go to rehab i'm not looking to get cured i'm not looking to settle down calm down i'm not looking for any of that she is a heavy sprayer i will continue to spray heavy i love love to leave a scent trail. I love to, I love for my fragrance to get there before I do sometime. I love for my fragrance when I walk in the room for people to be like, oh my God, who is that? <laughs> yeah, that girl, that'd be me. I like that. You know what I mean? Why am I spending this on a fragrance and you can't smell it? Now, there are times and places where if I was going to a hospital to visit someone or if I was going, you know, I don't know, just places where you don't need to be so obnoxious with your fragrance. I wouldn't spray that heavy. I know how to, you know, pick the time and the place of when to spray. But typically when I'm going, I'm going out. I'm getting my entire life, living my best life, and I am spraying heavy. So when I say spray heavy, you have to use your own judgment. I'm talking about... It also depends on the fragrance. Some fragrances is like 10 to 15. Some fragrances is like 15 to 20. It's my fragrance. I'll spray how I want. Period. Okay? Her. Anyway, so yeah. So that's the fragrance. That's how you're going to spray it. That's where you're going to apply it. Now, there is a myth out. And I can't say that I know this to be true. But I'm going to share it with you. Because I did do some research on it. And I read tons of people and tons of reviews say that it really does work. Um, I may have tried it when I was a child or a teen, but I can't really recall. I have not tried this in my adult life that I can remember. And that is the Vaseline. They also will tell you to take Vaseline. It doesn't have to be the cocoa butter kind.
kind. I just have cocoa butter kind on hand. You would take a little bit of the Vaseline because it's oil. You would put it, apply it on your wrist, and then you would, you know, just go ahead and rub it in together. Just the Vaseline, not the fragrance. You could also put the Vaseline behind your earlobe, at the top of your ear. Um, I don't like to spray fragrances on my neck. You know what I mean, ladies? That is a telltale sign for age, and you don't want to put anything because sometimes they have alcohol in them. They have different things in them. So I try to avoid spraying my neck. Sometimes I get carried away and it just happens. But if I'm, you know, doing it mindfully, I try not to spray right my neck. I try and go over here, over here, down by my decollete, just different places like that. My decollete, did I say that right? Yeah, down by my decollete, different places like that. And I will spray there. You can put a little oil in your elbows, behind your elbows. It's always good, especially when it's shorts, you know, season and you're wearing the tank tops or what have you. You don't want no ashy elbows. So it's a little good to put some Vaseline there to keep that, you know, nice and hydrated and moisturized or what have you. So you can apply your Vaseline and then put your fragrance on top. So now that we've hydrated, we've moisturized, we put our Vaseline on, everything like that, you then want to take your fragrance and then you can just at the top of it, like after you've done your hair, your makeup, you put your lipstick on, you looked at your hair hair you brushed it for the final time you uh have said oh my god okay i'm good to go oh girl he's here or oh uh, the girls are here you know what i mean you take your fragrance okay you take it off and you just miss yourself a few times i am the type of gal that likes to do the sprinkler system for those of you that may not know what is she talking about the sprinkler system i will do this i will turn turn spray again turn turn going back of me turn turn i will spray it walk through it spray it walk under it some have even said girl you're wasting the fragrance it's my fragrance <laughs> i can do what i want i tell you that all the time so that's how I do it. And I never ever go out and I'm like, where's the fragrance? It didn't show up. Some fragrances will do that to you. Some fragrances have a disappearing act. Maison Francis, Kirk John, Baccarat Rouge, Tri 40 have done that to me on a few occasions. I have then had to go to the next thing I'm gonna show you. Hold that thought. So when you have a fragrance that doesn't necessarily show up no matter how much you spray, no matter how much moisturizing you've done, no matter how much, um, let's see, body care, Care you've taken all those different steps there's a few different things you can do one being a hair perfume a hair mist a hair perfume now some people's like girl you're just getting too extra you know I told you I was extra right some people will be like girl I am not getting a hair perfume I happen to have the hair perfume for Delina so you can actually take this hair perfume and just spray it in your hair just a little bit don't spray it too close now especially if your hair is straight and you're thinking it might revert but this hair is a wig so I can spray it okay so this is like this right you spray your hair and then or 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 another thing is girl I'm so excited you guys I love sharing things so another thing you could do is get your hair brush or your comb and you can spray your brush your bristles and then just go ahead and then you know lightly go through your hair with your brush and then your hair every time you turn he's coming in for a kiss you're going in for a lean you're turning you're walking you're getting a whiff of your fragrance because it's in your hair so now you have really done everything you've got the fragrance going from the crown of your head not just the nape of your neck but from the crown of your head to the crevices of the baby toe. Do you follow? If you follow, hit the like button. If you don't, hit the subscribe button. It doesn't matter, okay? Over here, we are just hitting buttons. Okay, I move on. If you happen to get a fragrance like Baccarat Rouge 540 and it plays the disappearing act, I also have the body oil for this as well, as well as the body cream. So I will double layer this just to ensure that the fragrance stays on. Now let's say that you're like, girl, I don't have all that, okay? Nobody's buying all that. What do I do? Say you just have this. Now I'm gonna say this, now listen very close. I spray this all over my body, I took every step that I just told you, but sometime when I do not smell it and it's not like performing or, you know, projecting the way I would want it to, what I do, you guys, is I spray my clothes. Now, when this gets on your clothes, it's going to hold them tight and never really let them go. I have sprayed Baccarat Rouge 540 on sweaters before during the winter, um, just light shirts before, and I have gone back and not dry cleaned it and have smelled it like, I don't know 
know two three days a week later and this smell was still on there so although it may not stick to you and you may not smell it on you sometimes others will smell it on you but if you want to smell it on you I will definitely say spray your clothes now you have got to be very careful with that a gal such as myself who loves to wear white I have to be very careful when spraying my clothes you always want to hold the fragrance at least 8 to 10 to 12 however many feet this is away from you and then spray and then mist now if you're wearing something of dark color or something like that then you can go ahead and spray a little bit more up close to your clothes without fearing that it's going to leave a stain I wear a lot of white so whenever I'm trying to spray a fragrance on my clothing and it's white I always put it on um what do I use I use a, a pillowcase I have white because I, I love white you guys I love white I have white bedding I have white linen white everything in my room so what I'll do is I have old pillowcases because once it's not white white anymore I don't want it so I use it for other things so I will take a white uh, pillowcase and I will just spray it you know away from it and I'll see if it stains or if it does anything because some fragrances have color like my um uh which one is it love don't be shy the original one the juice is kind of pink so I have sprayed that on a white blouse before and it has stained it so you want to be careful so please listen to me close when I say this always try with something you can I wouldn't say a towel because a towel absorbs kind of differently then you want something like a shirt material or you know a blouse material something on that family so if you have a silk pillowcase whatever whatever it does to the pillowcase nine times out of ten it's gonna do the blouse so always hold it back just to ensure and then spray when you spray your clothes the fragrance does last it does sit on the clothes and it does project when you give a hug when you come in for a lean when you walk past these are all things that are going to help that fragrance to project and it's going to stand out more than it would if it was just on your bare skin okay I move on am I making it plain if I'm making it plain make sure you leave it in the comment section okay and if you have any tips or if you have anything share with someone leave it down in the comment section below let's get some dialogue started okay I move on now another question that I always get is does your fragrance go bad you guys fragrances can expire fragrances can go bad colors and fragrances can change now I'm gonna give you my experience there's thousands out there I'm gonna give you what she's experienced her meaning me Sheree okay I have had a fragrance go from one color to a next color and it was like a little bit lighter and then it turned a little bit darker it did not expire it did not go bad but the juice of the fragrance did change colors it still smelled the same now I have also had a fragrance who have which had changed colors and so did the smell changed as well I knew it didn't smell the same so I threw it out this was many 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 years ago I just knew like what in the world probably I probably wasn't at this stage of fragrance collecting in my life I was just you know like or not even fragrance collecting but fragrance loving in my life it was probably a fragrance that I had somebody had gave me years and years ago and I probably kept it as a keepsake I'm one of those and so then I'm smelt it and I'm like oh this doesn't smell like it you know it used to so it had gone back I believe the fragrance was obsession you know obsession is already dark but it had got even darker and it smelled kind of like stench instead of smelling good so I let that go so that's the way that you are able to tell the best way to preserve your fragrances and take care of your fragrances are to store them in a cool dry dark place now a lot of times people it looks really pretty to store them in the bathroom and your restroom area and your boudoir what have you where the lights are on all the time and there's a lot of you know showers going on hot baths going on or what have you you want to try not to store your fragrances there if you have like a nice you know area where you can store them I'm not saying that you have to put them in some dark place where you can't see them because I could never do that because I would forget what I have I do always keep the lights off in here unless I'm you know getting dressed or filming but it's never on for more than like maybe like an hour or so at a time so I don't have to worry about that and then typically you know the ones that are not you know on display or what have you I put them in a cupboard and I'll show you like a little chest of what I'm talking about a nice chest drawer where you can open it and then it's like dark inside and you can close it back that is like one of the best ways to store your fragrances I love to see my fragrances you guys they make me happy so I don't want to store them where I can't see them so I'm willing to just take you know like you know precaution and make sure I don't leave lights on too long and make sure that my room is always at like more of a cooler temperature than really really hot so that is another way you can get your fragrances to last is by making sure that they have a great shelf life and ensuring that they have a great shelf life is by ensuring that they are stored properly cool dry 
dark spaces. Okay, I move on. This is my last and final point, which I've said throughout the duration, or which I've said throughout the video, is just layering. Layer your fragrances, you guys. Layer them. If you don't have the lotion or the body cream or the body oil or the hair mist or whatever, still layer them. Yet Layer them with the lotion that you have. So put your body lotion on, put your fragrance on, then put a little bit of lotion on. Now, you don't want to take any lotion and do it because sometimes lotions or moisturizers can smell like strawberry and then your fragrance smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. That's not the scent that I would want, but maybe that is the scent that you would want. So you need to play around with it. Don't be afraid to experiment with your fragrances. That brings me to my last point. Play around with them. Don't be afraid to spray them. Don't be afraid to explore them, to experiment with them, to play around with them. See what layering combos work for you. I play with, around with them all the time. I'm not huge on mixing fragrances. Sometime when I spray a fragrance, I just want to smell Delina. I don't want to smell anything else. But sometimes you know how it is you're standing there and you're thinking what should I wear today what should I wear and girl I can't make up my mind guy I can't make up my mind so I'm spraying like two three four five fragrances all at one time because I wanted to smell everything I do that sometime too sometime you can come out with a really nice layering combo by trying different things like that so if I can recommend anything find fragrances that you love explore experiment play around with them and have fun and my camera died so I guess that's a sign that I talk too much we already know that anyways um well let's move on so that is it you guys that is it for this video if you have any questions please don't hesitate to leave them down in the comment section below if you have any tips on how you ensure that your fragrance lasts all day or how you apply your fragrances please help someone out and leave it down in the comment section below I love connecting with you all over on Instagram so if you have not came over and said hi on Instagram yet please come over and say hi I love chatting about fragrances beauty luxury lifestyle all things fancy and fabulous over there as well and nine times out of 10 I typically share everything over there first because it's quicker you guys okay and then I share it over here I always say that we spill the tea over there and then we sip the tea over here one or the other just follow me on Instagram and that is it for this video I truly appreciate you taking the time to stop by my channel I will see you beautiful souls in the next one until next time you know the drill be blessed stay fit and definitely stay fabulous darlings thanks for watching bye